DaVinci Resolve has released a new update, 18.1. And usually I am one of those people who doesn't really care about updates. As long as the software works, I'm happy. But there are two new features in this update which makes me very happy. And it's for two reasons. I'm not particularly good at editing audio. I struggle with it a lot and I'm kind of one of those people who makes the audio that uh, I record sound decent but I'm really struggling and one of the things I've been struggling with the most is to make the voice of the recording sound good and that's super important but for me I'm kind of have always been a little bit worried about the audio so I just want to show you the black magic website here if we scroll down and look at this. These are the two features I'm very happy about. And the best thing is that they actually are doing a great job. So let me show you an example. This is an old project with one of my clients. Her name is Sanna and she is a Swedish influencer. I've been working with Sanna for about two years. I've been editing her vlogs. But one year ago we started to shoot some cooking videos. Because cooking is a big hobby of hers. All the cooking episodes we do, we do in her kitchen at her home. Obviously this is lit up with uh, my studio gear. And the way I pick up audio here is with the Rode Wireless Go 2 plus with the Rode lav mic, which I have attached to her shirt here. So let me play the audio for you. So där. Ut på plåt, så där. Och sen ska vi gå på med olivolja, salt, peppar. Sen kan man liksom krydda det bäst man vill, men jag kör bara simpelt. As you can hear, the audio is uh, it's good. It's recorded with a lav mic and it's it's kind of um, what you expect. But you can hear a lot of um, actually not so much background noise, but you can hear the reverb. You can hear a lot of disturbing noises. And the way I've done this up until now is that I have usually used a noise reduction effect. I turned the noise reduction to the de-hiss. I let everything be as it is and I kind of turned down the dry and wet option and um, play around with that and get it to the point where I think it sounds nice. And then besides the noise reduction I use the dynamics. This is like I have kind of an idea how I'm supposed to use it. Of course I've looked into tutorials and I kind of know how to use it but I don't feel comfortable using it. This is what it sounds with the noise reduction and the dynamics on. Där. Ut på plåt, så där. Och sen ska vi gå på med olivolja, salt, peppar. Together with uh, the dynamic and the noise reduction I also use the EQ. I kind of just cut down the low shelf and bump up the high end a bit. And this is the way I've like deliver my final work to my clients. Um, this is basically what I've done. But now let me show you this. Let me go ahead and turn off the noise reduction. We can turn off the dynamics as well. The EQ I will leave on. Let's go ahead and play what out. So där. Ut på plåt, så där. Och sen ska vi gå på med olivolja, salt, peppar. Så kan man liksom krydda det bäst man vill. And let's go ahead and turn these two effects on. These two effects is the ones I was talking about. Let's open them up. This one is the dialogue leveler. And to be completely honest, I have no idea how it works, but let me show you the sound now when they are turned on. Så där. Ut på plåt, så där. Och sen ska vi gå på med olivolja, salt, peppar. Så kan man liksom krydda det bäst man vill, men jag kör bara Simpelt. I think it sounds so much smoother. I think it does a great job with the noise reduction in the background and it doesn't do like it does do too good of a job. Like listen to this if we turn these off and we go into the noise reduction and we push the wet level here. So där. Ut på plåt, så där. Och sen ska vi gå på med olivolja, salt, peppar. You, you can hear that everything is just pushed down and it sounds weird. But if we turn that on and turn these on again and just listen. Så där. Ut på plåt, så där. Och sen ska vi gå på med olivolja, salt, peppar. Så kan man liksom krydda det bäst man vill. Men... So what I've done to them is that I've turned this to optimize for most sources, leave everything on, output gain, I turn it to four. And for the voice isolation, I just took down the amount to about 66. 
Sådär. Ut på plåt, sådär. Och sen ska vi gå på med olivolja, salt, peppar. And one thing that I still going to use is the uh, dynamics. I think I will work a bit with the compressor and the makeup gain and trying to make the sound sound even better. I love the fact that it's just to like turn on. You have one knob and basically you have one knob here as well and the audio sounds great. I'm so happy about this because this makes me feel more comfortable when working with audio. And to be honest, I think it will improve my production value for my clients. I just thought that it's worth mentioning here on my YouTube channel. And maybe you are like me, not very good at audio. These two features will help you out a lot.